Joe Rogan has finished his recent carnivore diet challenge, gloating on Instagram with a chiseled physique at 52 years of age. Let's take a look at the recent post. I did the carnivore diet for all of January. I lost 12 pounds, gained a ton of energy. My energy levels were completely flat the whole month. No ups and downs from crashing after eating. I had a belly. A lot of people made fun of me, fat shamed me. I lost all my fat. I lost all the belly. I lost my love handles. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep eating like this, but it was tremendously beneficial. And I also have an autoimmune disorder. It's called vitiligo and my vitiligo improved. I had a bunch of white spots fill in. So I don't know. I went into this thing thinking this carnivore diet was wacky and uh, I probably would think it's nonsense, but this is as good as I felt in a long time and it's just one month. What he isn't gloating about is the amount of steroids, HRT, performance enhancing drugs he is injecting into his tushy. Guys, there's a reason you don't see anyone looking like that, let alone at 52. People don't have access to and can't afford the drugs. Is the carnivore diet being promoted by special interest platforms like Joe Rogan better than a standard American diet? Of course it is. The public, however, needs to be aware of controlled opposition. A controlled opposition is a protest movement that is actually being led by government agents. Nearly all governments in history have employed this technique to trick and subdue their adversaries. Notably, Vladimir Lenin, who said, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. The carnivore diet brings up a whole bunch of issues that these people refuse to address, some of which I am certain would have killed me, you know, a few years from now if I did not fix them. The several we mentioned in the videos this past week are estrogen in meat from agrochemicals, disruption of the endocannabinoid system through omega-6 feedlot meats, an imbalanced mineral ratio because of too much beef, pork, or chicken, and something not spoken about enough, gut health. And what happened to me specifically that was so dangerous was iron overload in my liver, aka a chunk of steel in my stomach. Uh, think about what Joe is portraying here. A juiced up 52 year old that eats meat. Same with a large portion of the people promoting the carnivore diet. A bunch of guys using steroids to help mask the effects of an estrogenic feedlot diet and poor lifestyle. If you aren't aware of the amount of money, moolah, cash, in male enhancement and testosterone replacement, you might wanna wake up. This is billions, if not trillions of dollars, more so in men in their 30s, 40s, and onward, but even now in the younger generation due to the soy boy epidemic. They pollute the water with birth control, food supply with atrazine, not to mention dozens of other estrogenic endocrine disruptors completely destroying testosterone production. Your testosterone tanks, you can't get your pee, -pee up, you spend hundreds of dollars on doctors, troubleshooting problems, maybe hundreds of dollars on testosterone boosting supplements, hundreds of dollars on a personal trainer, hours at the gym training to get healthier, to no avail. Point is, you're spending a boatload of money trying to feel normal, something I believe that should be a natural human right. It's why I work so hard to educate people on health and make them aware of these corporate schemes. Finally, you find TRT, testosterone replacement, as a solution. You're taking various drugs that are making pharmaceutical companies boatloads of money, more so in the US as it's a for-profit medical system, you know, it's pretty criminal. Other countries have very affordable options from what I've heard. Not that Frankie Boy can afford to leave the United States, driving his 2001 Ford Taurus. Then the testosterone replacement you're taking causes you to start losing your hair. Guess what? Back to the doctor, buying supplements, paying for treatments, more money in the pockets of billion dollar industries. You finally give up, you go to that doctor, he prescribes you with some type of hair loss drug, putting all your faith in the system that has sucked you into this rabbit hole of stress and unhappiness. What happens next? You get depressed from the drug, or you get depressed because the drug doesn't work. Maybe that drug causes your pee, -pee not to work again. Back to the doctor for antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, Viagra, whatever it may be. More money and power to the system. You guys doubted me last summer when I said the carnivores were paid chills, but you don't have to look too far to see this is what has already been happening. Is there an element of needing to boost meat sales? Very likely. 
in every market I've been to, supermarket, farmer's market, whatever it is, there's been shopping carts loaded with plant-based slop and shelves full of meat going bad. Of course, it's hard to say what's been going through the heads of big agriculture these past few dozen years outside of generalizations. One thing we know for sure is they're trying to make a ton of money. They stuffed us full of corn and soy slop to make America obese in the form of packaged foods. They fed that same corn and soy to fila animals, beef, pork, and chicken. Now they're repackaging these foods into healthy plant-based alternatives, into the carnivore diet. But the demonization of meat likely came from these companies in the first place. Now, these same companies started doing so well with the plant-based marketing that the meat industry started suffering. Now, were there any attempts before the carnivore diet to increase meat sales? I'm sure some stuff can be dug up, but they are definitely going all in on this carnivore scam. Fox News, Joe Rogan podcast, mainstream media, controlled opposition is far too obvious. And... Is it really about selling people this feedlot beef because the meat's going bad on the shelves? Or is it the more sinister agenda of making money in the long term through the testosterone replacement supplements, through you know people losing their hair, keeping people in the system? I have a feeling, as usual, Frankie Boy was right. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you could please like the video, subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon and above all guys, please share the video. So if you guys want to support me further, definitely check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet in the description below. You can also go to Frankie's Syringe Meat for high quality nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price online. You can go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And if you'd like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health consultations, frank-stefano.com. You guys enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have a good night.